Yo, hit that thumbs up. This is getting kind of a little interesting now because I'm kind of tired of this story, uh, but you just keep seeing it. So they still a year later are going on with Meg and Tori um, and she claimed he, she got shot and that reports have come out where he's like, yeah, dance, dance, dance. Like, shoot, I've seen the video. Um, in the video, she sits down. She claims she told the cops that she stepped on glass. That's not true, <laughs> but they're now saying, and say shout out to say chief, please don't, don't violate me for using your picture. But now they're saying that they can't locate, they, she must've removed the bullets cause they can't locate any of these bullet wounds that she claims she had. I told y'all, I don't think this is real. I think this is another Jesse, juicy Jesse situation where this girl lied and now it's slowly coming out. Why do you think it's taken over a year for them to come out with the, with the story, with the verdict? To try to make Meg look decent, really. You know, this, this whole thing to me was manufactured. Um, I believe in sacrificial rituals in certain cases because it's hard to not see it because let's not act like her career hasn't gone up a whole nother level since. Since she left him and had this situation a summer ago, she won a Grammy. She had a huge record with WAP. She, she's doing cash app commercials. She's, she's got her own hot sauce for Popeyes. They call it a uh, hottie sauce. Some people call it thotty sauce. You know, she she did she wanted she was performed at the Grammys. They got her doing Black Lives Matter stuff. Um, she even went and said that she didn't want to tell the cops that he shot her because she thought they were gonna shoot him. And I'm like, this whole story was put together to build Meg up as like this black heroine. Look at this proud black woman and how she overcame the odds, the death of her mother. Uh, she escaped her boyfriend. They're trying to paint Tory Lanez out like he's Danny Glover in color purple or something. You know, like like, like he's just this horrible human being and she overcame the odds and escaped him. And that's not the story at all. It doesn't seem that way, but they're trying to build it that way. You know, they got her doing, they're, they're pushing her to be like this, uh, it's, it's almost seems like a feminist movement, but they, it kind of felt like they're using this situation to promote her as this strong black woman who overcame the odds. And it's all manufactured. And like I say, since then, all of that has happened for her career. She was a star, a rising star. Now she's a superstar. Meanwhile, he's still putting out pretty solid music, but his career interest has kind of declined. A lot of people brought into the story, a lot of women, unfortunately, uh, who didn't even look at the evidence or read the reports. Take him to jail. I hope he go to jail. He did her wrong. You know, and I'm like, y'all don't even, y'all not paying no attention to this shit at all. Every time you turn around, Meg all over the TV, and you think that's a coincidence? No. <laughs> this is all put together. All of it. You know, and as I say, it don't take a year and a half to figure out if somebody got shot in the foot or not, if you pulled the Della Reese. You know what I mean? He shot me in the pinky toe. It don't take that long to figure this shit out. They're 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 bluffing and dragging this out because they know this is gonna look bad on Meg and her camp when this shit comes out. This is another Jesse Samle situation. Period. You did all that crying and sobbing and y'all and did all y'all could do to make this boy look like uh, uh, an abusive person. He doesn't have any real history of doing any domestic violence stuff, to my knowledge. This is all came up out of nowhere. And he was her sacrifice, in my eyes, to take her career to the next level. That's what this was all about. You know what I mean? Some people say, well, maybe Rock Nation was up to this because Tori didn't sign with them. That could be a possibility. Um, but yeah, this story does not look good. And like I said, everyone's kind of tired of it at this point. It's like y'all been dragging this shit out way too long. Um but like I say, the truth will come to the light eventually, but she gonna have a lot of explaining to do because this shit don't look for real. I didn't buy it last year. I was like, hold up. We didn't see you in no wheelchair. We didn't see crutches. I remember Benny the Butcher got robbed and sh shot in Houston in front of a Walmart. He was on crutches in, for a couple months. You know, like Tupac, he got shot. He was on crutches. He was in a wheelchair, excuse me. This girl got shot and then did a video. <laughs> and then she tried to say, well, we did that before the... I was like, okay, that's what you say. You don't look like you was hurt to me. You know, you look like you was selling a fake injury. And you didn't do a good job of it. So, 
you know, the truth will come out. Hopefully, it'll come out soon, and uh, they can get this shit over with, because I'm, I'm not buying it. Let me know what y'all think um, in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up. I'm out of here.